Okay, first of all, we'll get a black background, and second of all, then just put in a new layer, and you're going to come up here and get the circle tool, and you just draw a circle over here on the right hand side, right click, select fill, change it to white, and then deselect, then come up to filter, and you're going to go to blur, Gaussian blur, and just have the setting at about 5, so it gives you a nice blurred moon effect around the edge. Then come over to your smudge tool, make sure that you've got a soft brush that's zero for hardness, normal strength and make sure it's about between 85 and 90 for the, the strength. And then get a brush size just a bit lower than the, the moon itself, hold down shift and start to drag it along. Now as you go further along here just stop, reduce your brush size a bit hold down shift and drag along again. Same again, stop a bit further along, reduce your brush size and drag along. And you should end up with a nice effect like that. Let's see one last bit at the edge there. So there we go. So we'll come down to your layer style, click layer style, blend in options and the first one you're going to go to is Outer Glow change the blend mode to hard light and change your colour to a uh, darkish pink and the size here to 90 and the next one is go to your inner shadow and choose the blend mode as hard light and change the colour to again a dark purple but just a bit of a lighter tone this time lighter purple pink there we go and then click OK go to new layer colour it in black come up to filter render and then lens flare make sure it's at about 100 and it's on movie prime click OK and then all you're going to do is take the eraser tool and just gently rub out just round about the the blue area and here and here so some of your your blues out and just curve the curve the lines out a bit you want to remove this line as well this blue line there quite a bit of further in and then you're going to come over to the blend mode and change that to linear dodge as you can see that now you can put the lens flare at the end now if you go to the middle layer and add a layer mask and then come over to your gradient tool pick that change the type to foreground to transparent Make sure you've got it selected on a uh, circle and you're just going to click and at the edge and drag in in a bit just to do it a couple of times just to give it a, a bit of a blend at the end. Next thing to do is go to new layer. So on your new layer, pick the gradient tool again and you want to change the mode to dissolve and bring the opacity down to about 10 and then all you're going to do is just draw a, a line down just about the, the height of the, the uh, end of the star itself there we go, we get a nice effect like that with a little uh, white pattern I'm just going to put that at the end here Control T for transform and then right click and select warp and then all you're going to do is take the corners here and just drag those right back behind where the the tail of the shooting star is and just cross those over as well so they're nice nice and sharp and then just reduce the circular or square bits down to sort of more of a circular edge round here here we go and just pull those in as well. Just really try to sort of mimic the the shape a lot more. So there we go. And 
and we just apply that and then you just go to your blend mode and just choose screen for blend mode there we go and then one last thing is you're going to just go to your layer style click on blending options go to outer glow change the blend mode here to normal and then change the color to white click OK and that's you